Welcome back to another crypto video. What's good everyone? Hope you're doing fantastic. Thanks for jumping into another video. If you like the content, do subscribe for pretty much daily videos. Hit the like button and say hello down in the comments. I'd pretty much say hello back. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna look at Solana today. So here's some Solana news. Da -da -da. On the news today, we have Solana, the Allegiant Legion. How one NFT provider is raising an army. So NFT is getting pretty big. Star Atlas crosses out another backs on their roadmap. Um, so there's another sort of DeFi sort of thing over there. Mean DAO token launch officially confirmed. Soul Razor to launch Chingari IDO on December 15. Nosy Blob has launched first Solana based deflationary NFT collection. So there's a whole website here just dedicated to Solana news. It's pretty cool to see. Check that one out. I've never seen it before, but I found it today. Thought it was quite useful. Of course, we've got the um, Solana Twitter as well. And we can see, you know, they're really dabbling with NFTs at the moment, which is quite nice um, to see. Raffle mining and things like that. I mean, very interesting. But for today, we're just going to jump into the sort of price chart. So Solana is trading at 164 and 68 cents. Uh, market cap 50 billion with a market cap dominance of 2.15 percent so it's definitely one of our big ones it's ranked five and we can see over the 30 days we are down a healthy 28.2 percent so you know we broke this level of support from before so it's not really too surprising 279 is still one of my big targets over there but uh, we did break that horizontal support at last, if you did watch one of my previous videos. Um, and we also had a lot of support there, which have come back below now. But this is like a distribution phase. So, you know, looking at that distribution, I would probably say the distribution was at least 30 days. So expect at least a 30 day kind of consolidation trading sideways so it could take us through to halfway through to january before we even see any big movements to the upside now as far as the correction has already gone if we take this swing low to swing high we can see that we've just fallen under that golden fibonacci pocket of 170 dollars guys so we are p perhaps getting towards that territory of reaccumulation um for me i'm gonna wait for the potential opportunity of getting in at 140 i think it's still very possible if we see more capitulation and liquidations within the market so i have marked that lovely little box there um for reaccumulation but i i even think these levels here are not too bad to potentially take a look at and accumulate on the daily you can see that we're pretty much 36 on the rsi and we're we're quite underextended we're below the 20 day moving average by a fair amount which isn't you know awful and we hop into that four hour chart you know you can see clearly we're finding a bit of support here big buying pressure over there so maybe we are bottoming out over here at um 161 but solana really needs to hold support because if it does break this level it's going to come down see continuation down to the 140 sort of zone this is the point 618 fibonacci and the next is the 0.786 um so it's quite critical that we do hold this level of support um and we just need to sort of consolidate here you can see we had that crazy range over there um and maybe if we hop into the 15 minute charts you know we're getting these sort of higher lows almost a symmetrical triangle so to speak um something a bit like that if we can break out you know i i, I don't usually account this wick because of its volatility i, I usually invalidate it um even though it does display a huge amount of buying pressure over at 160 um you know the way i see it is we've got a classic symmetrical triangle we break to the upside we break to the downside and when we lose that support from this wick here which is very very important you know that 161 dollar support level that's when we see the lower levels down at 150 or so so perhaps this is a dollar cost average opportunity but you know i like to always just zoom out and then you know look ahead because it just looks like another correction in the market ideally um you know we had a correction here impulse so we get another correction and it's very possible we get another impulse 
So we don't know when it's going to happen, but let's look at some bull price targets. Ideally, you know, the, the 172, this is the target that we can be looking at now. Just add another label, guys. Another target. And of course, 320 for our very much golden Fibonacci extension target. Um, I mean, as you can see, if we measure from this low to this high, it's 120%. Now, if we measure from there to there, it takes us 100%. So it also implies a slightly diminished return, but it shows us that it's not an unrealistic target. It's 100%. That was 120%. This one was even more. So that's 800%. We corrected. 100% corrected. We see around 100% again. So that's my price target, guys. Long term, super bullish on Solana. Buy more when you can. $320 price target because of this price action in particular. Because of this dis distribution, supply, distribution, supply, accumulate, impulse. We come back up. I bet you, you're questioning buying now, but when it was here, you were not questioning buying. So, not financial advice, but just buy some. I'm going to buy some. Don't put everything in, just little by little. So there it is, $320. Must hold this $165 support, otherwise we break down to $144. Pretty much what I see in the, the short term. Um, and obviously, currently trading in this symmetrical triangle so we could see 172 dollars by the end of today should we break through this resistance at 167 otherwise we lose support at 162 and come back down so short term play is there long term play is down here and you know over at 300 plus dollars so i hope you like the video subscribe and see you in the next one bye for now